Hi everybody doing? It's your boy Jay with Frenchies and stuff. Today I'm gonna be going over my 2021 pistol collection. So I'm gonna start off by showing you all my pistols and naming all the accessories, add-ons, things of that nature. So we're gonna start off with my baby. Staccato C2. This is my carry gun. It's unloaded for you safety checkers. This one is like my favorite. I don't know what it is about this 2011, but I just love this shit out of it. It's like butter, like eight. It's beautiful. By far one of my favorite pistols in my collection. And one of the most expensive. I paid like two stacks for this. So it's definitely not for the faint of heart. But I'm going to keep it simple because I did nothing to this because nothing was needed. This thing is a straight shooter. I have no worries, no issues. When I take this thing out. I actually switched it over to my duty gun. I actually found a, a level 2 holster for this, so I carry this when I'm working. That's pretty much it. This is basic, as good as it gets for me. The Cigato C2. So we're going to put that to the side. And we're going to move on to, you know, everyone's favorite. The Glock. Mine's a little tricked out. I got Glock 43X. Now, this bad boy has a lot done to it. So, let's start from the front. Let's make sure it's clear first for you YouTube Nazis. Empty. Nothing going on. So this is a Glock 43X, but as you can see, it is no longer stock. At the front, I have a Suarez Battle Comp single port, specifically made for the Glock 43X, 43, and the 48. I did my own framework. Uh, all around here, you know, undercut the trigger guard, put a little indentation right here for my fingers for a good grip purchase. Also got these Fox grip tape and I got an extra piece and cut it up into a section and place it under here for better texture, better grip. I got my slide done by I uh, actually don't remember. The name escapes me right now. But as you see, um, I got it milled to fit the Hollow Sun 507K. Get that dot in there a little bit. You see that? And so, this is not the MOS version, as you can tell, because I don't have anything up here. I got my Tribe threaded barrel. I got my Victor's flat face trigger, Hive extended mag release, and I have a mag well on here as well from Sandstone Precisions. So I don't think anything on here is stock anymore. Also got the extended uh, slide release added on. So. Yeah, this baby is no joke. She is also a straight shooter. As you can see, I do have both the top carry guns of 2020. Staccato C2, Glock 43X. If I had to put them in the head-to-head -head comparison, even this one is like four times the amount of this one. Probably twice with the work done. I mean, I, I, I don't know. I couldn't tell you. But let's move on. Now, 
this was originally my everyday carry and I know once I pull it out everyone's going to be like you used to carry that yeah so this is my 1911 when I tell you I used to carry this thing every day faithfully all almost three pounds of this as you can see it is a Remington R1 enhanced by Wilson Combat and Nighthawk. So I got the slide fit and finish by Nighthawk Customs. Uh, most of the aftermarket pieces are from Wilson Combat, which were tuned by Nighthawk. As you can see, I got the, I can get a good picture of this, full guide rod on this one. Flat face. Nighthawk trigger Wilson combat grips uh, do have a Nighthawk magwell metal main house spring main housing apologies uh, Heine sights fiber optic fronts so yeah this is my custom 1911 empty as you can see but also, this baby is a brick. Like, I could literally throw this at you and it still probably be as effective as a bullet. This thing is no joke. Uh, sorry for the little dirt. Got that full guide rod. Wilson Combat G10 grips. Yeah, this thing is... Um, I dare say one of a kind. This is a one of one. Nighthawk by Wilson Combat Remington R1 Enhanced. You will never see anything like this. You can make this, but this one's mine. <laughs> so, alright, let's move on. Now, we're talking Big Betty's, but we're still standing in the pistol range. Here is my baby. This is... My Diamondback DB15P. So, let's start from the front and work our way back. We have our blast forward device. Underneath this, we have, oh, I ain't gonna be able to get this off on camera. We have a Lantech Dragon muzzle brake device. We have our Battle Creek Blast Forward device. We have our Olight PL Valkyrie 2 1200 Lumen Light. I mean, this thing is amazing. I don't even understand why people even still buy Surefire lights. But anyway, I digress. We have... The um, Strike Industries angled foregrip. So this is legal. This is on the pistol. This does not convert this to an SBR. For all you guys down in the comments section, bring it on. Uh, I can pull out the ruler, but as you can see, it's already on an angle. So it's not definitely, I mean, it's not at 90 degrees. Um, we got Magpul backup sights. EOTech XP3, don't get me the line, um, holographic red dot sights, Strike Industries dust cover. I mean, like I said, most of my stuff is no longer factory. We got the um, Hyper Fire Duty Trigger, Strike Industries 15 degree angled pistol grip, Law Tactical Folding Stock. So, yeah, this this girl is is definitely serious, and we also got a Strike Industries QD mount. So, I play no games when it comes to this lady right here. This is Big Bertha herself. She is like the kid in Caboodles. I'm hitting anything 300 yards and under with this, and that's in the pistol variation. So, 
this was my, like my first custom build. Like I did everything myself. Like there's nothing serious done, but this was this was it. All right, now on to the last, certainly and definitely, not least, my baby. Y'all may call her the Daniel Defense PDW, but I call her. So, yeah, this is my baby. This is my Daniel Defense PD 300 Blackout pistol. As you can see, it has a pistol brace, so it's not an SBR. It's not actually a PDW. Got the three position stock. Everything on here is pretty much basic, except for I got the Griffin armament, um, M lock plates. Of course, I have another Valkyrie PL2 flashlight. I got um, Griffin armament, blast forward device. I was going to get the Battle Creek, but this one just looks so much better. And it's like a quick detach. So you can take this off. I'll show you real quick. You can take this off. And under there, you have the Griffin Armament muzzle device. So this one is pretty much stock. I mean, it was beautiful from the ground up. And as much as I paid for it, you know, shouldn't have to add anything else to it in the first place. So, I mean, like I said, that's a QD mount that go on there. Griffin Armament furniture. And I kept everything else stock except for the extended... Um, Slide, I mean, whatever this is, excuse my, my ignorance right now, it, the, the word escapes me, but this is basically my baby, like, she's short, stout, I figured out how to load the Magpul 60 round drum, so, for all y'all asking, yes, it is possible, to load the Magpul 60 round drum with 300 blackouts. Uh, if I get enough likes on this video, I will do a video specifically how to load this because I have all 60 rounds filled to the brim, 300 blackout, three different boxes of three different uh, ammunitions of 300 blackout. So it can be done as you can see. She bad. She looks crazy with a drum. And that, my friends, is my 2021 gun collection. Please like. Please subscribe. This is Jay with Frenchies and stuff. Y'all have a good day. Yeah.